Hello everybody, this is Axter99. In this video, I ask you guys, is this finally the end of one of the biggest fakers on YouTube? One of the biggest dramatic fake YouTubers ever with McJuggernuggets. Today, he put out a video where he shoots his father in the chest. Uh, a climatic, ridiculous, overly dramatized, fake BS scene that anybody over the age of 12 would have known was fake. But McJugger Nuggets made almost 3 million subscribers faking out nothing but kids. He called them Juggies. And today, after supposedly shooting his father, he left on a plane ride to Switzerland, where he sits on a bed in a hotel room and then starts crying about... Uh, how he's so sorry and how he apologizes and he w doesn't want to drag his juggies uh, through the drama with him. And it was about the most fake, about the most sickening scene I've ever seen. Especially at the very end when he walks into the bathroom and hugs his family, his mother, his brother, and his father right here uh, as his camera lays on the end of the bed. So after I watched McJugger Nuggets shoot his father on a camera and thought, why would he do this having 90 to probably 90 to 95% kids as fans? What kind of role model is this? Even if it's fake, he's done nothing but be a horrible role model for his juggies. So I decided to go ahead and take matters into my own hand and I called the authorities in his local hometown or in the state of New Jersey to find out what they thought. Police dispatch. Yeah, this is the police in Elmer, New Jersey. This is the dispatch center. Hey man, I was just calling. I saw, uh, I saw a YouTube video where a kid killed his father. Jesse Ridgway, known as McJugger Juggets. Hello? Yeah, it's a fake video. It's a fake video? You guys yes, getting, yes, sir. Are you guys getting a lot of calls about this today? I'm just curious. Yes, yeah, sir. We had probably about 1,500 calls today. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Now, this officer directed me towards another police department specifically assigned just to handle all the calls that come in about this McJugger Nuggets videos. This kid who has... Millions of subscribers, probably all 12 and under, that see him as some ultra star. What kind of a role model is this guy? Cursing all the time, making nothing but fake videos and lying to his fans that his videos were real. Never admitting that his videos were fake. Let's go ahead and listen in to that second call where I called another officer that handles his calls. And there's nothing you guys can do as far as contacting YouTube about him making such fake videos or nothing? We have tried, um, but again, like I said, he's allowed to do that. He's allowed to do that, wow. That's crazy. YouTube wants him to, to stop, but um, as of now, yeah, we're not allowed to, not allowed to do that. Wow, so yeah, I, mean, I guess this isn't the only day. You guys probably get a lot of calls about him all the time. He's right. Yeah, we get calls about him all the time. Every time he puts a new video out, we get... Um, Phone call. Oh my gosh. All right, man. Well, thanks for your time today. I appreciate you it. Will. You bet. Bye. So, there you go. This McJugger Nuggets, a Jesse Ridgeway who started YouTube a couple of years ago on this account, has been swooning our children. Mostly kids are the only ones who would fall for this as anything real. This guy, 23, 24, 25 years old, has been swooning kids for more money acting like a mistreated, abused kid of his father who psychologically abused him. He gave his address so people could send him money and gifts, which he accepted all the time and even provided them an address. Meanwhile, he was taking in, as you see here, anywhere from $19,000 to $300,000 per month. As he pulled off his fake videos, his complete horrible acting stunts, and betrayed all his followers on YouTube now by never admitting 
that his videos were fake, crying, fake crying rather, and acting like a victim of his father. All until today, when he clearly showed at the end of that video that it was nothing but BS. So, I want to know what you guys have to say about this. Do you really think he's done as you see that he's continuing to lose subscribers here? I don't think so. Not after probably making over $100,000 a month by being a really bad actor and just making up total nonsense and total fake videos and lying to his fans, his kids who follow him about what a mistreated, abused child he was. This is truly sad. Is this really the kind of people that we look up to on YouTube? Really? Anyway, I wonder what you guys have to say. Be sure you put it down in the comments below. Be sure you rate my video. This has been Zaxxer99. We'll see you in the next video, everybody. Take care.